everyone. So today I have another Gothic Lolita Wigs review for you guys. You're probably wondering why my room looks so different from other videos. And that is because I am currently on campus at Residence for College. You're probably wondering why the heck do we need to know that you're at college on Residence? It actually factors into how long it took my wig to get to me. I moved an hour away from home and this actually ended up affecting my shipping time. I ended up purchasing my wig on September 9th, 2013 and it only arrived today which is September 24th, 2013. So if you do the math, it's more than two weeks which is usually a lot longer than what I have to wait for when I'm at home. So be wary of that when you're moving. Shipping times may get longer, they may get shorter, it all depends where you're moving and how long your shipping company takes to get it to you. I just want to mention one thing before I start my week review. I'd like to let you guys know that I am in no way, any shape or form, hired by any company that I buy from to do these reviews. I'm simply doing these reviews because I'm a customer like all of you are and I want to review these wigs and these items so that you guys can get a feel of what these things are before you purchase them. I also I'd like to remark that my experiences have been pretty great so far with the people that I've bought from. However, these experiences can vary from person to person. I have seen a lot of bad reviews for Loris bags, how their experience was definitely not the best and the bag turned out to be not so well made. However, I have seen some positive reviews where the Loris bag was quite well made and so was mine. So be careful of that when ordering. You have to make the decision yourself whether the chance is worth it to spend that money on that item even though there have been some bad reviews. So it's all up to you really. Now I will finally get to the wig that you have all been waiting for. So this wig is the Neo Classic collection in black. Now this is my first black wig so I was a little hesitant on the color, how dark it would be, how um, if it would be washed out or anything, so I was really taking a chance here. This wig cost $49 and I had to pay $15 shipping, so in total it was $64. Now I will open my package. So already I took the bag out of the packaging that it came in. Now because I ordered only one wig, it came in an envelope like this. But if you order more than one wig, it will come in a box. Get a wig cap every time, like I said in my other video, so that is perfect. And now the lovely wig. So right away, I can see that this wig is so deep in color and I haven't even taken it out of the bag right yet. So I will do that right now. Alright, so again, like any other wig, it comes with this netting right here, which is always good to keep. So this is the wig out of the package. Right now, you can get rid of this. So right away, it does seem a little messy right now, but it is meant to be a little wavy. Right away, I can see that this wig is very long in volume. Look how long that is. It's definitely like the picture. I'm pretty sure it will come down to my waist, so that's perfect. The fibers, again, are very soft to the touch, and they're not super shiny, so it actually looks really natural. The top of the wig, you can't see through the hair fibers, and the netting is black as well, so if you end up seeing through the hair at all, you'll just see black netting. One thing I'd like to mention is that the pictures of this wig on Gothic Lilia Wigs website shows the wig to be a little bit more wavy and curly, but I find this wig is not as full with waves and curls. It has the occasional curl more at the bottom rather than at the top. The top is very straight. 
So if you're looking for a lot of wave and curl, I would not go with this style. It's definitely a more straight to semi-wavy, semi-curly hair. The color is just as deep as the picture shows. It's not washed out. It's completely black, as black as black can get, which is very nice for a wig. Again, I'm very impressed with Gothic Lulio wigs. They really do so well on making their wigs. I haven't had a bad experience with them yet. Unfortunately, that's really all I have to say about the wig. It doesn't come with any pigtails or anything, so there's no additional parts. It's just the main wig. I'm going to put the wig on so that you guys can see what it looks like on a person, and I will see you in one second. Okie dokie. So now I have this lovely wig on right now. I apologize for the bangs. The bangs are a little wonky at the moment. You may run into that problem as well. They're a little wavy, so you might have to do some styling if you want them to be straight. This is the original length. I just pulled the wig cap a little further back so that these bangs aren't in my eyes at the moment. So you can always cut them if you like. Now I realize that this wig may not go with my pink blouse at the moment, but this wig was meant to go with a shiro coordinate, so it'll look a lot better with white, I think. So already wearing this wig, although it is very long and it does go down to my waist, you'll see it in the pictures that I'll show after the video, this wig is really, really light. It's not heavy on my head, it's not weighing my head back at all, so it's very nice and versatile. The waves are actually pretty cute. They're not too bad. You may have to brush through the wig a little bit to get it either more messier and more wavy or get it more straighter. Depends on what you want. I guess my final thoughts are one, I don't really like that the shipping became a few days more than it usually is, but hey, you gotta deal with it when it comes to moving to different places, so it happens. Two, I was a little disappointed with the fact that the volume wasn't as curly as the pics on the pictures showed on the website, but I'm not totally complaining because it's still a beautiful wig and it will still suit me so well, so I really don't have a problem with it. If you really want that curly wig, I'd suggest possibly going with a princess collection wig. Those wigs are definitely more curly, I know, because I have one of them. So thank you for watching this video. I know it took a while to get this wig, and unfortunately I have no control over it, so it's going to happen from time to time. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. So right now I'm a little bit of a, at a standstill with my Lolita wigs. At the moment I have all the wigs that I really want to put with a coordinate, so I don't really know which way to get next. So I'm opening it up to you guys, the viewers. So if you'd like, and you know Gothic Lolita well, then leave a comment down in the comment section of which wig I should get next. Some things to keep in mind when offering an idea for which wig I should get. I mostly do Sweet Lolita, but I'm also getting into a little bit of Classic Lolita. So make sure to choose wigs that will fit into those categories. Also, some of the colors that I really like, I like purple, I like mint green, I like blonde, and I love brown, especially the caramel and chocolate kind of brown mixes. Also, I really like the ponytail wigs, so if you have any of those that you would like me to get, make sure to comment those. I'm really looking forward to reading your guys' comments. Some things that you can look forward to in the future. I am currently starting cosplay, so you can look out for a cosplay video very soon, and possibly some Lolita transformation videos. So make sure to keep an eye out for those. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>